Hello guys, welcome to my channel. It's been a while, hasn't it? As some of you might have noticed that I have been busy past four months. If you follow me on the Instagram, shameless plug. And the reason for that is that I was taking the workshop called Real Time Night Character Creation Course at the learning platform called Wingfox. And I have just finished it. So in this video, I would like to share my experience with it and inform you whether it is something you can consider trying out. This is not a sponsored video, obviously, and I'm not being paid to say anything. So everything I say is my personal opinion, and I made this video because I just wanted to, okay? With that being mentioned, let's begin! So as I mentioned earlier, this course is from the Wing Fox, and it was created by the awesome 3D character artist named Carlos Suarez. This course will teach you all about efficient character creation workflow across entire pipeline, including concepting, reference image gathering, defining maximum polygon count, sculpting, retopology, UVs, baking, texturing, hair grooming, setting up the scene in the Unreal Engine, and rendering. And as a bonus content, you will learn how to make simple rig inside Maya. By the end of the course, you should have the quite well understanding of the efficient character creation workflow. This course is aimed for people with intermediate to advanced level skill sets. So you need to know how to use software like ZBrush, Substance Painter, Marmoset, Blender, Photoshop, Maya, and Unreal Engine. I don't use Maya and Photoshop, so I use softwares like Blender and GIMP instead, and it was perfectly fine, so that is something you can do too. In the course, Blender is being used quite a lot, so if you use a Blender, then hey, that's great news for you. And also, I will recommend you to have a basic understanding of anatomy, since this course is focused on teaching the workflow, and it's got more than 100 hours worth of content. So in a few chapters, you don't get super in-depth explanation of things. For instance, how to draw, anatomy stuff, and so on. During the course, you get to receive the assignment in each chapter, and they will help you to understand what kind of state your model should be in, and the action you will need to take to improve it, but they are not mandatory. Personally, in the concepting chapter, I don't have a 2D drawing background, so I just watched the entire chapter, but I didn't do the concepting assignment. Even then, I learned a lot about something I didn't know before, and the techniques that people use to create awesome 2D concepts. Whenever you are stuck with something, you have specific questions, or you need a feedback, you can always reach out to the Carlos and you will be able to get some help. I was honestly surprised with the amount of support I received in the course. Carlos is genuinely one of the kindest people I have ever seen. So if you are a shy person or afraid of being judged or something, then you have nothing to worry about. As long as your questions are reasonable, you should be good. Just make sure before asking the question, you do try your best to find a solution on your own. Because in my opinion, it is important to develop the problem-solving skill early on. And even if you fail, that's okay, because you have nothing to lose. So I will highly recommend you to do that. You can reach out to him through the website, but the one I will recommend you to use is the Discord. It makes the entire process so much simpler. So what I liked a lot about this course, aside from all the cool skills I learned, is that it gave me the simulated experience of what it would be like to actually work in the production. It was helpful for me to know that I need to be flexible and need to be using the nonlinear workflow so that I can always go back to any part of the pipeline whenever I encounter the problems. That was something I was always reminded when I received the feedback from the instructor and fixed my models. There was a couple of times where I messed up and kind of destroyed the part of a mesh, and I had to redo the sum of the work. It was bummer, but since I was following his workflow, it was actually not too bad. You will learn to deal with this kind of problem in the course as well. And the chapters I personally enjoyed the most were sculpting, texturing, and hair grooming. These are the areas that I love the most, and honestly, I have learned so much by seeing how professional artists work, and this inspired me to want to learn more and push myself. I have little complaint and it's not about course itself, but it's rather about Wink Fox side of things. The streaming application that they are using is super slow and laggy for some reason. Oh my! I don't know if it is just my problem or it is common thing for everyone else, but whenever I use other learning platform, I don't encounter any kind of problem like this, so I don't know. But I have heard that if you use app on the smartphone or tablet or something, things are much better. So if you encounter the same problem, then that's something you can try. 
I honestly believe that this course is great for anyone who is struggling to find a good workflow and skills. Before I took this course, I always felt like I was stuck and not improving at all. But once I put the hard work into completing the course, I don't feel that anymore. However, I can say that this course chooses people and it's not for everyone for one reason, I would say. If you're a type of a person who needs to be told what to do every single second or needs detailed explanation for everything, you might not get that. The course itself is over 100 hours long and there are so many processes. So you will find yourself often watching the recorded live footage of instructor working, especially in the long chapter like sculpting, and you need to be able to observe, listen, and learn. But with that being said, instructor will teach you all about important things such as technical skills, things to keep in mind or look out for when you're working on something. So you will certainly learn a lot. Personally, I didn't find that to be an issue at all, but I know some people do, so I thought it was worth mentioning. As for the price point, normally price of it is around 280 bucks, but WinFox is constantly giving the massive discount code so you can buy it much much cheaper than that. When I purchased the course, they were giving me 100 bucks discount code, so I got it for only 180 bucks, which is really great price for the amount of content you will get out of it. So if you want to get the awesome deal, it is wiser to take advantage of a discount. So after hearing what I have to say about the course and if you're interested in trying it out, I will recommend you to do the following things. Learn how to use softwares adequately. Have a basic understanding of anatomy. Learn to be patient, determined, and committed. If you do all of those things, you should be able to follow the course without getting stuck or quitting it halfway. The course is quite long and I try to blast through everything by working 16 hours every day for 4 months straight and it resulted in me to get burned out twice so don't make the same mistake that I did. Work hard but don't push yourself beyond your limit. Just make sure to do something different every once in a while to refresh your mind. Like go do some workout, play video games, play instrument and etc. And yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to share about my experience with this workshop. So thank you for watching and I hope this video was somewhat useful to you. And if you're thinking of picking up this workshop but have any kind of concerns, then feel free to let me know in the comments section. I will try to answer your questions if I can. But anyway, I will see you in the next video. So until then, see you later!